In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, every, <laughs> every Christian and every Catholic woman. <laughs> Are you still evangelistically bold? <laughs> Did you identify decorated pagans? <laughs> if you identified them, please tell them that Father CK would want them converted. We don't want to lose you. We don't want. Na kama tumekubeba hiyo miaka yote, hatuta kutupa. We will not. Because we have a duty of bringing everybody into the sheepfold. And because God loves us just the way we are, we also love you. So let this be, let this go to all our decorated pagans. <laughs> We love you. Jesus loves you. Please come back to the fold. The same God who brought home the prodigal son is still there today. We are praying that our prodigal daughters comes home. And if you are listening to me and watching me this day, and maybe you left the Catholic faith or the Catholic Association, Catholic Women Association, because of a decorated pagan, go back. You don't run away from an enemy. You fight to defeat an enemy. And in, in, the, in the battle of faith, remember, it's not us who fight. He fights for us. So if you are out there in the cold... Because maybe a decorated pagan or whoever made you get out there. We would want you back in the Catholic Women Association. Please come and be our soldier. We want enough soldiers in the Catholic faith to come and preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we want women who go beyond the uniform. The uniform you adorn does not make you a Catholic, number one. It does not validate even your membership. It is part of. But there is something deeper in the Catholic woman, deeper than the uniform. Deeper. Please find out. And that which is deeper is what Father CK is talking about. We are tired of having Catholics who are on the edge. If you are seated, you are sitting here on the edge. We want Catholics who are inside and bold Catholics. Not somebody who goes and fights other women being discussed and then is just there. Keeping quiet. Saying, I think so. Maybe. Maybe what? We want convinced Catholics in the association. We don't want Catholics who look like others. No. We want Catholics who cannot be who cannot be doubted or confused. When it comes time for your prayers, pray like a Catholic. And don't shy. Even if you are in the midst of others, whoever they are. And you are to pray. Start your prayers the way we always do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. That is important. But don't just, you know, don't just shy away and you start to do some things looking like, a, uh, <laughs> like you are dramatizing something. No. We want a woman who knows what she is doing. That is important. And we would want, as part of number eight, a woman who engages in biblical community. This is actually part of, uh, part of again, number five. Yeah. Engages with others biblically. So you are not just, you don't just read the word, but you become conveyors of that message. That there is this calling and each one of us is called to participate. Very important, extremely so. Gracious ladies, we have a duty. Number nine, 
a woman who is just and generous. Just and generous. Now, I want first to, to, to start with justice. Now, we are approaching a very delicate and very important period in the, especially in this country, Kenya. We are facing or approaching election year. Now, I know some Catholic women will vie for various seats and they have a right to do that. But my question is, how many of the federal Catholic women will support them? And how many will seek some hard doubts from them and then run away? How sad it would be that I am, for example, I am a Catholic man, a member of the Catholic Men Association. And then I'm vying maybe for a, an MCA seat. And I have some members from the same association. They come to me for hard outs, but they cannot give me their, their, their votes. That is sad. Generosity is important. And here I'll talk about one thing that I always talk about. And this is tithing. 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 As a Catholic woman, it is increasingly difficult for us to stand and count you among the members of our shipfold. If you are one of those who believe that you are poor right from your brains. So for you, no tithing. And even the offering that you give, you are the people who are giving two shillings, three shillings, five shillings. Because your mind is poor. You believe that you are poor. You adore poverty more than you do. Bless the sacrament. Very sad. You are a Catholic member, Catholic a woman association, a CWA member. In the parish book of tithing, you don't appear. Not that you don't have. No. Because you are poor here. Or you are just a Kichwagumu woman. Unataka kanisa ikusaidie. But for you, hautaki kusaidia kanisa. This is an issue that is never debatable. You know, when we talk about generosity, and I want to go back to... Mamma mia. I want to go back to number... Um, number one? Exactly. A woman who is passionately committed to Jesus Christ will always, will always understand who is the giver of her gifts and who is the recipient of her gifts. It is not the priest. It is, it is God himself. God is the giver. And God is the ultimate and principal recipient. So when we give our gifts... We don't give to individuals, though uh, individuals benefit. But those of us who are men and women of faith, we know that our giving has everything to do, has everything to do with God. At that point, then, we cannot hear somebody who is saying, you know, me, I used to tithe when Father C.K. was our parish priest. No, there's a problem with that. You don't tithe because of Father C.K., you don't tithe because of the other priest. You tithe because you have, a, you have a responsibility, a religious responsibility as a Christian, and in this case and context, a Catholic woman. So, again, go back to your, to your notes and check. As a member of Catholic Women Association in your parish, where do you stand in tithing? Where do you stand? Or you are one of those women, Kazia ni kubebwa. Ubebwa ukiwa mtoto. Ubebwa ukiwa mtu mzima. Ubebwa utakapokufa. Ulizaliwa kufanya nini hii dunia? 
na unataka mazishi yako tukuje na bedera tuna peperucha bedera hivi bedera ya mkora no support for the church kazi yako ilikuwa tu kuharibia watu majina you are number one kuharibia mabadre majina number one kupiga imani katoliki number one everything and you want us to come and again praise you and say that you are our hero no <laughs> we will come and if the CK comes for Maziji <laughs> nitakuja niseme we are gathered here to bury one of our decorated pagans Allah <laughs> who Asante sana. Finally number 10 because I want to do something different tomorrow. Number 10. Eh? This woman lives on purpose. She has known her purpose. She knows where she is going. This is a Catholic woman. I would want to talk about that one more. But allow me to do it tomorrow. So, <laughs> may the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday. Thank you.